We're speaking to Kasatu General Secretary, Mr. Becky Tladichale. Becky, can you tell me, does Kasatu see any missed opportunities in the Finance Minister's mini-budget? I think there are many. We, 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 we had uh, the, the President in the engagement from the time he convened his meeting to look to the reprioritization. Mm -hmm. He gave an indication that the details of what you were thinking on will be spelled out in the, this uh, uh, mini, mini, mini budget, to, to say the least. We went to the job summits and there were a lot of talk about it and there was understanding that uh, we may have a bigger stimulus that's going to be announced in this particular meeting. So we came here with some hope, uh, though normally we don't uh, put much hope on Treasury because what, most of them are, are consecutive. But we're so disappointed uh, that uh, I think we lost the opportunity. There were no stimulus that came out in, out of the, the announcement made. We heard about the question of corruption, which we're not hearing for the first time. This is almost an old story. Yes. The question that we're expecting was that what government is going to do about it to recoup the money in the speed necessarily to get those that are affected or accused, arrested and put to jail. Not the old uh, stories in dealing with those issues. The question of uh, just shifting the blame to the public uh, servant, I think is unwarranted in those issues. Because it seems to be uh, that a large part of the crisis is being contributed to the large public sector wage bill. What is your response to that in particular? If you are not living in South Africa and you are hearing about this, you would thought that these public sector workers are earning millions in dealing with those issues because the totality of the blame is that the money goes there. We can't uh, do the service delivery yeah. because of the wages of the public uh, service. I mean, look at it in practical way. We're being told that it is less than 40% of the budget, yes. so it's not huge. It's in a normal average in dealing with those issues. In terms of the head count, we got. 100, about 150 vacancies on critical posts yes. that has not been uh, filled with. The president in the job summit and government make commitment that they are going to fill this particular critical post. They can't function without them in dealing uh, with the service delivery. Mm -hmm. Today we get a different stories. The, t the treasury was silenced on the, the packs that goes to government. It's, it's terrible. It's huge. Whenever they go, this, the, the money that goes to spouses, the petrol that they goes to their cars in dealing with those things, they got bloated offices in the minister's position, even in members of parliament. They got packs that is unbelievable in dealing with so those things. So what you're saying but is then they blame the, the don't blame bills. the public servants wage bill, look at where we can cut in terms exactly. of top structure. Exactly. Introspection must start with there. They should be saying, if the treasury is so brave, to attack the public service. Why they say they don't say to the president, President, please cut your cabinet in dealing with those issues. That will be a wise decision, I mean, or statement, bold statement to be made in dealing with those mm -hmm. issues. So in our view, we miss an opportunity in dealing with those issues. We can appreciate that they're talking about they are going to save SARS, but they are moving at a very, very low pace in dealing with those things. There would be no, if they move in this pace, when the commission completes its work, there will be no SARS. I think Judge Nagin says to the president, fire this acting, I mean this commissioner now. Don't wait for anything else. The, the more they remain, the more damage will be irreparable in dealing with those issues. So we think we lost an opportunity. We lost an opportunity on VAT. They appointed a panel to advise government what other staff should be zero rated. They, they just show them a middle finger in dealing with those particular issues. The, there are people who are complaining about the question of the ethos. The, the, the Minister of Finance said they're here to stay in dealing with those issues. I think they are confused. Uh, they have no plan. Then they opted to blame those that are vulnerable. In our view, they have lost even the good things that they have said in the mixture of the message that is coming up. I think they've lost the, the, the opportunity. They don't give confidence to the people who need government uh, agent attention in these issues. Not single thing that they've said was an indication of job creation.
If you could give one word of advice to Minister Mboweni going forward from this mini budget, what would that be? I think he has to be realistic. He has to look to the to the problem because they identified some of the problem correctly in relation to those issues, but they were not brave enough to come up and say what needed to be done. We're looking forward to proper engagement and in, in terms of what needed to be done. We accept the issues of they agree that they don't have skills. So it's a cater deployment that has went wrong. They should be saying we're going to put the right qualification needed in dealing with those things. If your municipality is accused of mismanagement of funds, you can't continue there. It should be an automatic removal of those that uh, have found to have put their hands on the tail. Our argument is that don't blame the weakest. Confront the real problem and be able to put incentive, activate the economy. And the ILO has said, even when we're dealing with the issues of jobs uh, in 2009 of the crisis, this economy, any economy to recover, it must be income-led. People must be able to buy the products that the business is going to create. Otherwise, business says, yes, you may say to an investment strike, but if we produce goods, who's going to buy them? Because the people who are supposed to buy are poor. Thank you so much, Peggy. We really appreciate all Pisat's input today.